Hello, Carmel members. Welcome back to Carmel Golf Academy TV. I'm your host, Jason Sutton. And on today's show, we're going to talk about possibly the worst shot in golf. And a lot of people don't even like to mention the name, but it's the shank, the dreaded shank, when we actually miss the golf ball and hit it on the hosel of the golf club or the inside, you know, towards the heel, but definitely on the hosel. And a lot of people uh, that I teach that come to me with this problem sometimes don't even realize that they're hitting it here. They might think that they're hitting it on the, in, on the outside of the club or the toe, but the majority of you that are hitting those low shots to the right are catching right in the shank or the hosel of the golf club. So I'm going to talk about a couple of reasons why that could be happening and really the main reason that I think it happens. So first off, in order for us to hit the ball off the hosel, unless we're literally standing too close to the golf ball, which is the, my first recommendation, is to check your distance from the ball, because if you're too close, then your club has no choice but to get outside the ball, and the sweet spot moves out a little bit. So that would be the first thing, is to get back from the golf ball, make sure your posture is good and you have enough room for your arms. But secondly, what I see most people doing is when they're coming down, after they've seen that ball go off to the right, that was almost a shank, pretty good try on the inside of the club there, is they try to fix it by rapidly closing the club face. All right, now understand that the shank is not a club face issue because think about it, we're not even hitting the club face. So I've seen more closed face shanks than I've even seen open face shanks. You could be reacting to an, an open face, but typically it's more of a sweet spot issue. We've got to keep the sweet spot inside the golf ball or closer to the, to the center of the club face. So what I see most people doing is as they come down in their downswing is their right arm is moving away from their body. So they're extending their right arm too soon, which throws their hands away from your body and goes into what we call full radius. So my arms are completely extended as far as possible well before they get to the golf ball. Let me show you an example here of what I talk about with radius. So if I'm trying to hit my club into this bag right here, I could hit it if I go full radius. My right arm is extending. But we've talked about impact being what? A little bit more of a bent right arm, flat lead wrist. So if I go into impact, you can see I'm not even going to come close to hitting that bag. So my radius gets shorter or smaller. And that's what I need you to focus on, is when you're coming into impact, one, we want to make sure we have enough space. Because another problem we see a lot of times are the hips going too far towards the golf ball. We call this early extension. And then the right arm getting trapped behind, which causes this problem sometimes. So we want to make sure we got enough space. But then coming down, understanding that our right arm is going to be slightly bent at impact. The right arm does not straighten until well after impact. So a great way to work on this is by using something like a water bottle or a head cover and I will stick this on the outside of the ball and I will start out by hitting little short little wedge shots or little chip shots to get comfortable with keeping that club head in closer to me, my hands in closer to me and my right arm soft and bent and then I'll go ahead and hit some full shots. So what I'm feeling there is I'm feeling my right arm really close to me, my hands close to me as I go through the hitting area. The only way I can get outside that ball with my sweet spot is for my right arm to straighten too soon. So if you're having this trouble, come down and see us. We can fix this problem in a few swings with just a couple of good ideas. I hope this helps you to understand a little bit more about this dreaded shot that we all fear. So. Let me know how I can help you. We'll see you next time on Carmel Golf Academy TV.